Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac. I'm going to be unboxing this new case I got from my iPad. I'm a little skeptical about it, but I am think it'll be okay because it's close to an outer box, but it's not an outer box. So I'm just going to take it apart right now and get it out of the box, of course. So it's just basically... Well, the people that I bought it from said that it's basically... Like an outer box. But it's just like the step down from an outer box. I think it's a pretty darn good case. I only paid like 50 bucks for it, or 45 I think. So it just slides out of the box out of the side there. Plastic cover on it, of course. <clears throat> and here's the case. Okay, and then you have this little piece here. That's to hold it up. It's like an outer box case, but it's a little bit different. Okay, and then to take it apart, I believe you just take the rubber off. I hope. Yep, that's how it works. Just gotta work with it a little bit. I just gotta take the, you gotta take these little knobs off here to get the case apart. It's just these little knobs. And then you can just take the rubber off as you go. But don't pull too hard on it because you don't want to wreck the rubber. I'm just going to keep taking it off. It's, just, it's it's hard to get these nice cases off. Well, I'd rather have it hard to get off and work good than not work at all than have a hard time with them. That's why I'm just really happy with, like, outer box cases. They always seem to work the best out of all the cases that you buy. Okay. Now, it's just like an outer box case where the lens front comes off. Set that right here to the side so it doesn't get damaged. Here's how to take it off and how to put it back on. I don't think I'm really going to need that because it's basically the same thing. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. I'm just going to take a good layer off of it so I can get the camera, in, I mean the iPad in there. Right now I'm charging the iPad, but I'm going to unplug it. Okay, now it just sits in there, collapse in a little bit. Just a, and it just sits in there like that. And then now I'm gonna put the lens over, straight down. And these little knob ends should just clap right down. Oh, here. You have to take the rubber and you have to put that on first. So again, we're gonna feed that all back up into here. Okay, I'm just folding it over the edges. It's fairly easy. Try not to get any fingerprints on the iPad before I put it in this case. Just folding, folding it over. And one thing that I don't like so far is that this rubber seems a little bit slippery. It's not like it's not like like it's gonna stick in your hand. Okay, now when you have it on there, it should look something like that, where you shouldn't be able to see really any of your um, iPad, especially if it was white, you'd be able to see. Okay, now I take the lens or the protective plastic piece. I'm just going to take that, I'm just going to set it on there, and you just push it down until you hear a clap. Yep, there we go. Okay. And then this rubber thing removes for your headphone jack. Then this one removes for your camera, which it all removes pretty well. This is for your camera. And then this is for your vibrate over here. And then, yeah, let's try it out. And I am updating to the iOS 7 right now as we speak. So that's basically it. Watch for more videos on the review of the case. And this little plastic piece, which I'm probably not going to have on here all the time, it goes on like this. It just claps over. But I really don't like that, so I'm probably not going to use it. That's the one downfall I don't like about this, is that 
it's not like equal all around. So then it's one, it's a little bit like, you can hold on. It's a little bit nicer to hold on to actually. Now that I have it in my hand, it's not just like you're holding on to this little thing. You got a little like of a gap there to hold on.